Leading local today in our top story, early voting is underway at in the capital city with 11 days until election day. The number of counties which have already begun early voting is growing. We are your local election headquarters and pay KX News is Paige Gilmar joins us now with how things are going in Burley County. Hello Paige. There is just one more hour for North Dakotans to cast their early vote here at the Bismarck Center, but there will be opportunities again this week as well as next week. I talked to election officials here and they said that the, having early voting allows them to cast as wide of a net as possible so they can get people to the polls. Now just yesterday in Morton County, op they opened for early voting. As far as people in Burley County are concerned, they can vote early as well through 530 this evening. Voters can line up to cast their early ballots here at the Bismarck Event Center. For the rest of the early voting period, the polls will be open at 9 a.m. and will close at different times. So make sure to check the Secretary of State's website to make sure you're able to cast your ballot on time. And a couple reminders for you. You must be a U.S. citizen. You must be at least 18 years old and have lived in North Dakota for at least 30 days prior to Election Day. While North North Dakota does not require voter registration, you do need to have a valid form of ID with you. The value of voting early is it basically widens the amount of time that you that you are uh, able to vote. Uh, if you have a busy schedule or anything like that, you can come on in and vote early. Uh, if you're not going to be around on election day, you can come in and vote early. Uh, it's just really an effort to make it as available as we reasonably can. On Tuesday, which is a week away from Election Day, Ward, Stark, Stutzman and Cass Counties will open for early voting. Reporting live from the Bismarck Event Center, I'm Paige Gilmar for KX News. Thank you, Paige. Also, one thing to mention, a North Dakota driver's license, a North Dakota non-driver ID, a long-term care certificate or a tribal government issued ID. You can present those uh, when you show up to cast a ballot.